In this Inkscape lesson, we'll learn how to use the Create Tower Clones dialog to create a text logo that looks like dots of light. Let's start by activating the Squares of Rectangles tool and creating a rectangle. We're going to change this to a specific size, so it doesn't matter what size we make it right now. Now let's go up to the Controls bar and let's change the units to pixels. Let's make this rectangle 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. And we can zoom in by holding Control and scrolling up the mouse wheel. Let's give this a black fill. Then let's open the Fill and Stroke dialog by clicking this button up here. And let's click this button to give the rectangle a radial fill. Now let's go to the Gradient tool here. Select the stop in the center. Then let's lower the opacity of this a bit. Around 60 should be good. Okay, now let's switch to the Text tool and create a text object. I'll go with the word BRIGHT in all caps. Then let's drop down this Font Family box up here. And we can use pretty much whatever font we want. But Vimeo seems to work pretty well with Tower Clones, so that's what I would choose. Now let's switch to the Select tool, hold Control and scale up the text object. Then let's shift click the rectangle to add it to the selection. Then open the Align and Distribute dialog with this button. And let's center these vertically and horizontally. I'm going to hold Control and Shift and scale the text object a bit more. Alright, now let's activate the Circles and Ellipses tool here. And let's create a circle. We're going to give this a specific size as well. Let's choose pixels for the units. Let's make this 10 pixels by 10 pixels. Okay, and we want to make this flush with the top left of the background object. So let's switch to the Select tool, shift click the background object. Then in the Align and Distribute dialog, let's align the left edges with this button and the top edges with this button. Let's select just a circle. Let's zoom in on it some. We can make it whatever color we want as long as it's a bright color. I'll go with red. We also want to go into the Fill and Stroke dialog and raise the alpha channel and the opacity all the way up. Let's go to Stroke Paint and make sure the stroke is turned off. I'm also going to cut out the center of this circle. This part is optional, but I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to duplicate the circle with Control D, then I'll turn it black so I can see it, then hold Control and Shift and scale it down some. That should be good. Now let's select both of these, then go to Path Difference. Okay, now let's zoom out some. And to pan, we can hold down the mouse wheel and move the mouse. Next, let's open the Create Tower Clones dialog by going to Edit, Clone, Create Tower Clones. At the bottom here, we want to set this to Width, Height. And we want to use the width and height of the background object. So let's change this to Pixels and put in 1280 for the width and 720 for the height. Let's go ahead and click Create. Okay, so we have clones covering all of the text and the background object. But we want to make it so that the clones in the fully opaque parts are the largest and the most opaque, and we want them to get smaller and less opaque as they spread out towards the edges of the background. To do this, let's switch to the Trace tab here, which lets us use attributes of the drawing under the clones to affect the appearance of the clones. First, we need to turn it on by checking this box. For Section 1, Pick from Drawing, let's select Opacity. And for Section 3, apply the value to the clones. Let's turn off Presence and turn on Size and Opacity. Now let's click Create. Okay, there we go. The clones are getting smaller and more transparent as they move out from the text. Let's now select the text object, which we can do by clicking one of the clones, then holding Alt and clicking it again. Let's delete it. We can also go ahead and delete the original object here, as we won't be needing it anymore. Then let's select the background object, Switch to the Gradient tool, select the stop up here, and make it the same color as the clones. Then lower the alpha channel all the way down. Let's select the middle stop and make it the same color. Let's lower the alpha about halfway. Finally, let's go to the Select tool, duplicate this object with Control D, put the opacity all the way up, and in the Fill tab, let's give it a flat fill with this button. Raise the alpha channel all the way up, and lower the lightness all the way down to make it black. Then let's click this button up here to put it beneath everything. And maybe we can select the object with the gradient and lower its opacity a little more. Okay, that should do it. I hope you found this lesson useful, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.